Imagine my complete and total pure excitement to wake up to an Instagram message this morning with this. Our boy Ray Benzino has responded to the Eminem callouts in Doomsday 2 with a song of his own, Vulturious Eminem Diss. Pop quiz, when was the last time Ray Benzino rapped? I don't know either. I'm thinking at the most recent was like 2008. Probably earlier than that. This dude is an absolute menace on the microphone, said no one ever. Nah, but in all seriousness, he's at least better than Nick Cannon. If memory serves me correct, it's been a long time. My memory could be skewed. But yeah, it looks like he's taking the Melly Mel route. We got a minute and 25 second nice little short Eminem diss here. Can't wait to see what topics are being brought up that are totally gonna be refreshing and new and never said before. Yeah, our boy says, let the war begin and tags Eminem in it and a couple of other his friends, even though the war kind of began back in the early 2000s. But I don't know, based on some of these comments, he kind of f***ed them up a little bit. And if you're gonna f*** somebody up a little bit in sex form, use Manscaped. <laughs> Frito, CoCrypt 20, 20% off free worldwide shipping. Grab you some ball deodorant, keeps your stuff smelling good. It's also anti-chafing. I use it a lot whenever I go run on the treadmill. Keeps my thighs from chafing up and it's a lifesaver. And it's very affordable. You get it cheaper and free shipping with my CoCrypt 20. And if you buy anything using my code, send me a picture on Instagram and I'll follow you back. But all right, let's check out Vulturious and see what's going on with this Eminem disc by my guy Ray Benzino. Let's go. Gunshots, duck! Should be called Skittle, sweet ass motherfucker. Candy ass Eminem, bitch ass right. feminine, Maddie like melanin. On volume turned up again. Oh shit, here we go. All right, here we go. 13 seconds in, we're already being called feminine. Heard that a million times. Already being said that he's mad that he's not black. Haven't heard that a bajillion times from Nick Cannon alone. Also, the drug references. Haven't heard that a bajillion times either. My man is just hitting all these bully points from 2003. Let's go. Candy ass Eminem, bitch ass feminine, Maddie like melanin. On value turned up again. Oh shit, here All we right. go. Benzino versus Jim Crow. No a custy when I see one. How many times you overdose? Cracker on crack who rap, but hate black in the show. Invade our There we go, more drug stuff. Holy shit, it just keeps getting better, bro. 20 seconds in, we got like five drug references. My dude is 12 years sober. It'd be like Eminem dissing Benzino over music to be murdered by, not getting five mics on the source magazine, even though he hasn't been a part of it in fucking like 20 years. No a custy when I see one. How many times you overdose? Cracker on once. crack. Who rap, I hate black in the show. Invade our culture, then insult us. Time you get exposed, little ho. This Man, this is just sounding like it's straight, it's straight up like the third Nick Cannon diss. What was it? it was the invitation canceled? You're right. You hate black people. That is the whole angle here. Invade our culture, then insult us. Time you get exposed, little ho. This Mariah, Christina, Michael, and Britt. What kind of fuck go to war with people dancing and singing? Don't fuck with fits. Keep it a buck, you ain't tough. What the you fuck? That was a weird ass flow. I, I, I get what he was trying to do. He ran 50 and Britney singing is where 50 should have been. So it did not rhyme well. I mean, I, I like the line of going to war with people that aren't actually rappers. Again, another angle that's never been talked about before. But on the other hand, he also went after Benzino. <laughs> He's shooting himself in his own foot, saying he went after all these people that don't matter, that are dancers and singers and not real rappers, even though he's part of the people that he went after. He's destroying his own credibility. You keep it a buck, you ain't tough. Your baby mom can get a bag like how Cassie did pop. If they read your lyrics in the court like they did young dog from the drugs chopping her up, caught in the trunk, you a punk. Okay, so that was a decent little line talking about if the, the court read the lyrics that Eminem has said about Kim over the years, which I have done in other court cases, he would basically have to give up all his shit to his baby mama, just like P. Diddy just did to his baby mama. Like that big settlement that they had so they wouldn't go to court because there's all kinds of shit behind the scenes. So nice little line right there. That's not terrible. That's not terrible. The trunk, you a punk. Plan my funeral, please. You shoot who? You who? Square and even go circle the block for proof. And the truth, my daughter Ooh, had like okay. That. that one digs. That one digs. Square ain't even circle the block for proof. And he's talking about shooting Benzino, but he wouldn't even go after the people that shot proof. That one stings. I know that one's going to sting a little bit. And it actually wasn't even that bad of a metaphor for using the square and circle shapes going in for that whole thing. That wasn't bad right there, actually. I'll give him props for that for sure. Plan my funeral, please. You shoot who? You who? Square and even go circle the block for proof. And the truth, yeah. my daughter had a life that I never had. I'm probably more Boston George than America's dad, but I provided. All Those right. Close gifts kept y'all excited. Now you let the industry Willie Lynch keep us divided. But back when I got indicted in and out of court fighting, you was in a pretty home with something foreign to ride in. Of course, I'll tell you hate your father. He could never find his trailer park swing. 
why, bitch. Okay, kind of addressing this issue of Eminem hating his dad, so he's projecting that on everybody else, telling them to hate their dad. Could even be viewed as Eminem trying to get Coyle Ray to hate her dad, Benzino, because Eminem hated his dad, where he could never find him because he was never there. I actually haven't heard that angle either, so he is tossing in some new stuff. But then I also just heard him talk about Trailer Park Trash before I paused it. Even though, literally, like, three lines ago, he's talking about Eminem riding in foreign cars and being in a big happy mansion house. Nice little contradiction within three bars. Also, I know Benzino has done these interviews talking about where he just, the money's not coming in anymore and doesn't have any money, which is why he was staying in the hotel room with another man. So how's somebody broke? Gonna throw in a broke disc. It's like me throwing out a fat disc. It's like look in the mirror, bro. He was in a pretty home with something foreign to ride in. There of it course is. I'll tell you hate your father. He could never find his trailer park swine bitch. Shit. You're miserable when you're alone. <laughs> and we think that they cloned you. You look weird, don't care how much just for men they put on you. Alright, bringing up the whole clone situation. I've seen a lot of videos on that where people think that Eminem has been cloned because he looks a little bit different. A lot of people think Eminem actually died of the overdose and they cloned him and got a new person around. I just can't imagine throwing that in an Eminem disc. Like, we think they cloned you. That's the disc. Interesting. And we think that they cloned you. You look weird, don't care how much just for men they put on you. Never seen with a girl. <laughs> uh, the weird beard line has returned, except it's the weird hairline now. We think you look weird. I don't care how much just for men they put on you. Never seen with a girl, never seen with a bitch, but got a song what if I was gay with Joyner Lucas. I'm done. Ah! Okay, Joyner's gonna say something now. That is literally 100%. No reason Joyner wouldn't say something now. This song never got released, and I haven't heard it yet because I was waiting for it to be released to react to it to see what the hell that song was even about. And I do actually kind of like the idea of Benzino kind of flipping the pages and turning it back on Eminem because there was the underlying tone that Eminem was calling Benzino gay because he was staying in the hotel room with another man. And then Benzino's like, bro, you literally have a song called what if i was gay even though the song wasn't released and we don't know the context of the song i'll still give him points for that but all right that was vulturious the ray benzino response to doomsday 2 now only time will tell if this turns out to be another melly mel situation how long will it take benzino to apologize but i did hear a couple lines that might be enough to ignite some stuff that proof line was deep the father line was deep because eminem's father i don't want to say recently passed away it's probably been four or five years now and then the what if i was gay line at the end is also a pretty decent little turn it just sucks that he's just not a good like rapper like the mix on this was not very good then he had that weird part where he just didn't rhyme when he was supposed to but all in all this is not the worst Eminem disc that I've heard I like this better than the as is disc I like it better than probably all three Nick Cannon disses and it's better than the Melly Mel disc so we're at least moved up to the middle of the row but let me know what you guys thought of this I'm here for it you guys know I love me some rap beefs speaking of that I gotta dive into this Megan Thee Stallion Nicki Minaj beef that seemed to come out of nowhere for me I have no idea what started it or what the hell it's even about so I'm gonna do some research on that and then I'm gonna check out the two tracks that they have made against each other and then I'm also still planning to do the Lyrical Lemonade album review. So I got some videos to stick around for. But that's it for this one. CoCrypt 20, 20% off free worldwide shipping at Manscaped. And I'll follow you back on Instagram if you buy anything. Love you guys. I'll see you on the next one. Walking through this life, my back is sliced up from the blanks. I ain't seem to have a choice this time.